today we're doodling on an OG doodle bear. Welcome to On the Subject. <laughs> sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Okay, so I ordered a doodle bear off eBay and I haven't even opened the box. It came in probably a week ago. And here we go. This is an unboxing of a doodle bear. An original doodle bear, by the way, which I had as a kid. So I had a purple doodle bear that had pink patches and I can barely recall, but it's all coming back to me now. I don't know. It just, I know that it looks very similar to the pictures of the one that was in here. So here we go. What's in the box? Okay, I'm very nervous. I haven't seen one of these in so long. Is there a note? It's just a receipt. Okay. Let me put it in tissue. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at that. Would you look at it? Okay, mine was very similar to this, except it didn't have florally patches. It just had, it had pink patches, but it was definitely this color. It definitely had a pink nose. Wow, this is in really good shape. It even has the plastic tag still attached to the ear. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna cut that off. That is nuts. Okay, so Doodle Bear. Just like we did in the last episode, I, I looked up some, some fun facts as I draw on this thing because I haven't done this since I was a kid. And I just wanted to know where the Doodle Bear went. You know, like we all do on a daily basis. Baby, come back. Where did it go? Well, one is right here. I did get some washable markers. Washable markers. Everybody wants this ladder. I live in an apartment with um, vaulted ceiling. Uh oh. Because the eBay purchase, the eBay, the eBay seller. Oh look, someone left a doodle on it. Oops, my bad. The eBay seller didn't have the markers, which I'm sure they're dried up since this thing, you know, is from. 1995. So I did get some washable markers and apparently this is the only pack they had at Wally World. That's a lot of nuts! So we have a plethora. So while I draw, the Doodle Bear was released in 1995. It was ideal for kids aged three and up. I am three times that. So... I'm just a there you go, there's my age again. It was originally launched under Tyco, but then had uh, revamps over the years under Mattel, Playlong, and Fisher-Price selling close to $500 million over the course of the toy's existence. So what should I draw? Should I give her a heart? No heart? I feel like I should give her a little home plate like me. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. Look, we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> the Doodle Bear did $50 million in sales in its first year. Then Mattel bought Tyco in 1997. They expanded the line and it tripled sales to around $150 million. One million dollars. Between 1997 and 2000. Okay, where's my red one? Here we go. I have to give it a heart. I need to have the home plate with a little heart. Now we're twins. That's so cute. Isn't it special? Well, isn't that special? <laughs> Now we're twins. The idea for the Doodle Bear was inspired by an autograph hound toy back in the 50s that people would sign at a party. So it's kind of like, you know, people sometimes have like a special item that you come in and sign at a wedding or like a milestone birthday party. What did we have, Kevin? We had a, a drum symbol. Uh, it was a symbol. It was a symbol. It was a limited edition. Oh, that's just bougie. For the fanciest people. A limited edition Zildjian symbol. So something like that. You would bring the toy home 
and then you preserve the memories from the event or the party. So that was the idea that was behind Doodle Bear. I don't know what to draw. I'm not very artistic. What should I draw? It's probably the best drawing I've ever done. A peace sign. Where should I put that? I'll put it on her pants. Should you give her fingernails? <laughs> I'll give her blue fingernails. What about eyebrows? Eyebrows? She has eyebrows. Yeah, I am totally assuming this bear's gender. <laughs> <laughs> The toy was reintroduced in 2005 with Play Along with a new look, colors, and added Doodle Bunny, Doodle Girl, Doodle Baby, and a lot more. What's a Doodle Baby? That's dumb. Bears are just more fun. <laughs> Fisher Price picked up the Doodle Bear in 2010 and again reintroduced it with a different look and did about $50 million in three years and didn't renew the license for the Doodle Bear when it expired in 2013. Tommy then reintroduced the Doodle Bear with a cuter look, and they even did a 25th anniversary bear in 2020. How about that? How about that? I, I really have no idea what to draw on this thing. Should I give her some like Kat Von D um, stars on her face? And so now there's a new one. I am unsure if they still manufacture it because every time I clicked a link to buy one, it said the link didn't exist. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. So I'm not sure if you can still get one. You can get one on eBay <laughs> if you really want one, an original one. So there's that. But the new one that has size variations. There is a 14 inch, which I'm assuming is this size, six inch, and then they have smaller uh, clip on styles that you can like put on your, your keychain or your backpack. Sure. Keychain if you're a weird adult like me. <laughs> or backpack if you're a kid. <laughs> uh, it still comes with the special marker three pack that they recommend to use only on the bear. Of course they do, because they want you to buy the uh, marker expansion pack. I'm gonna give her some hearts on her butt. Butt, butt. Maybe a big star, maybe a smiley face. The new one has all the features of the old one. But check this out, listen to this. Listen to me very carefully. You can download the Doodle Bear app. Yes, there is an app for the Doodle Bear. You can download the Doodle Bear app, take a picture of your bear. It fits in like a bear shaped scan thing. You can animate your doodles. Isn't that cool? So you can animate it with stickers or other effects. Also just notice there's a rip. Oh, that's supposed to be there. Aw, got polka dots under it. It's supposed to be there. I feel like a kid with ADD. I'm not trying to sell you a Doodle Bear, guys. That's what I can draw. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm so glad that you guys joined me in this adventure with the Doodle Bear. Yeah, like I said on the last episode, these are just gonna be super fun and silly and I hope you enjoy them. But those are my doodles. Not very fun or artistic or creative for that matter. I just gave her my tattoos and that's fine. Get yourself one on eBay. Have some fun. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>